This is part 21 of jQuery tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss what are jQuery DOM manipulation methods and how to set, retrieve and remove attribute values using jQuery. So what are jQuery DOM manipulation methods? jQuery DOM manipulation methods manipulate the DOM, that is the document object model, in some manner or the other. The URL right here has got the complete list of jQuery DOM manipulation methods. So here are those manipulation methods which manipulate the DOM in some manner or the other. We have already discussed some of these methods. We discussed val method in our previous video sessions. What is this method going to do? This is going to get or set the value of all matching elements. We also have discussed this HTML method. What is this going to do? This gets or sets the HTML of all matching elements. In this video, we are going to discuss this ATTR method. What is the use of this method? This method is used to get or set the attribute value of all matching elements. So let's understand how to use this method with an example. Let's flip to Visual Studio. So here we have got two div elements and notice both the div elements have got title attribute. Now we want to retrieve the title attribute value of all these div elements. So within our jQuery ready function, so we are going to use a selector which is going to give us all div elements and we want the title attribute value. So we are going to make use of ATTR function. If you look at this method, it has got two parameters, name and value. Now we want title attribute value. So that's the name of the attribute. Now here we are trying to retrieve the attribute value. So when you want to retrieve the attribute value, you only specify one parameter, that is the name parameter. In this case, we want the title attribute value, so the name is going to be title. Now, if you want to set an attribute value, that's when you specify both the parameters. For example, if I want to set the title attribute value to ABC, you know, I specify both the parameters. But here, I want to just retrieve the title attribute value, so I'm going to specify only the first parameter. Okay, now let's go ahead and use JavaScript alert function to alert the title attribute value. So what do we expect here? Now there are two div elements, so we expect both the div elements title attribute to be alerted. But let's look at what's going to happen. So let's save the changes and reload this page. Look at this, we get the first div element title, but we don't get the second div element title. Why is that? That's because by default, when you're using the ATTR function to retrieve an attribute value. And if you call that on the jQuery collection object, this is going to return the title attribute value of only the first matching div element. Now, if you want to retrieve the title attribute value of all the matching div elements, then you will have to loop through each of them using jQuery each function. So let's see how to do that. So this selector, $div, this is going to give us all the div elements. So we are going to use this jQuery each function to loop through each element. And as we are iterating over each element, to refer to the element that we are currently iterating over, we use the J, um, I mean this keyword. And then on that, we are going to call the ATTR function. We want to retrieve the title attribute. And let's alert the title attribute value using JavaScript alert function. All right, so let's save those changes. Now when we reload, look at this. We get the first div title and second div title. So we have seen how to retrieve the attribute values. Now let's see how to set the attribute values. So let's leave this code as it is. Now at the moment, these div elements have already got a title and at design time we have specified that for the first div it's my div one, for second div my div two. Now let's change that to some other title. And to do that, we are again going to find all the div elements and we are going to use the ATTR function. So now we want to set the title attribute. So we have to specify both the parameters. So title attribute and the value for the title attribute is going to be Nev div title. So what is this going to do? This ATTR function is going to implicitly iterate over each div element and then set the title attribute of all the div elements to new div title. And then here we have the code to loop through and then retrieve the title attribute. So when we reload this, we expect the title of both the div elements to be new div title. That's for the first div and that's for the second div. 
So if we want to set the same value for all the elements, then you don't have to loop through. But if you want to set a different value depending on the development, for example, let's say for the first div, we want the title attribute to be div1 title. And for the second div, we want the title attribute to be div2 title. So a different title attribute value for different divs. So if you have to do that, then you will have to loop through each element. So I'm going to loop through again using the each function. And dollar this. So on that, we are going to call the ATTR function. So we want to set the title attribute. And we want the value for the first div to be div1 title. So div space. And how do we get that number? Now look at this. Here we are using the jQuery each function. So this is the callback function. So to this callback function, I'm going to pass the parameter. So what is this going to contain? This is going to contain the index of the element that we are currently iterating over. So the index of the element within this collection is going to start at 0. But for the first div, we want the div title to be div1 title. So we want to increment the value of i by 1. So here, I'm going to say i plus 1. So if i value is 0, then we're incrementing it by 1. If it is 1, then we'll increment it by 2. OK, so for first div, it will be div1. And to that, we also want to append this word title. So all this together is the value for title attribute. OK, and that's it. So let's save the changes. And when we reload this, look at this. We get div1 title for the first div, div2 title for the second div. So if you want to set the same value then you don't have to loop through. But if you want to set a different value, you will have to loop through. And within that loop, you compute the value that you want and set it to the title attribute. Now, if you look at this code right here, look at this. You know, We can cache whatever this selector returns to improve the performance of this code. So what we can basically do is put this in a variable like this, where divs equals that, and then use the variable. OK, so we can do the same thing here. Now when we reload this, the behavior should be the same. So div1 title, div2 title. All right, now let's see how to use JSON object to set multiple attribute values at the same time. So we want to do it in one shot. We want to set title, style, and name attributes all in one shot. Let's see how to do that using a JSON object. We discussed what JSON is in the previous sessions of this video series. So basically, I am first going to create a variable, a JSON object. Let's actually call this config. Now JSON object you know, begins and ends with the curly brace. And what are the attributes that we want to set? We want to set title attribute. We want to set that to new div title. And we also want to set the style attribute. And we want to set this to, basically, we want to set border. So style attribute value is going to be border. And we want this border to be 3 pixel solid red. And let's also set name attribute. And let's set name attribute to my dev. OK, so we have three attributes and their values in this JSON object. Now what we want to do is find all the div elements. And then on that, I'm going to call ATTR. And then to this function, I'm going to pass our JSON object. So what is this going to do? This is going to implicitly iterate all div elements and set these attributes on all the div elements. Okay? And let's do another thing. Instead of displaying the attribute names and their values in a JavaScript alert, let's actually dis uh, you know, display them in a span element. So let's include an HTML break here. And let's include another HTML break between both the div elements. And then here, a span element. And we are going to use the span element to display the result. So let's call this result span. All right. So now what we want to do is create a variable here. Let's name it result. 
and let's initialize that to an empty string. All right. So result plus equal. So what we want to do is we want to loop through all the developments and then retrieve the attributes that we are setting, title, style, name, you know, the attribute names and the values and display them within the span element. So we want to loop through each development. So I'm going to use the div selector and use the each function. So within that, result plus equal. So first thing that we want to display is title attribute value. So title equals whatever is the title attribute value. So how are we going to get the title attribute value? We can refer to the element that we are currently iterating over by using this keyword. And then we can use the ATTR function. If we have set this title attribute successfully, we should get that value. So we want title attribute value. And to that, let's append an HTML break. All right, so let's make two more copies of this. Next, we want the style attribute value. And here to the ATTR function, let's pass style. And finally, we want name and name attribute value. Since this is the last attribute, let's include an additional HTML break here. So each div element will have a separate line. Okay. So we have built the result string. Now let's display this result string within this span element. So span element has got an ID. So let's use the jQuery ID selector. And the jQuery ID selector is hash. And the element that we want to find is result span. Let's call the HTML method and pass our result variable. All right, so what are we doing in this code? So basically, we're using the JSON object to set these three properties. And then to the ATTR function, we are passing our JSON object, which is going to implicitly iterate over each development and set these three attributes. And then we are looping through each element and then retrieving the title, style, and name attribute values and displaying that within the span element. So let's save the changes. And when we reload, Look at that. We get the red border. And when I hover the mouse over, look at that new div title. The title attribute value is displayed as a tooltip. And look at this. Within the span element, we have got the title, style, and name attribute. So now here, if you look at this code, you know we are first creating the JSON object. And we are then passing this variable to the ATTR function. But we are not using this variable anywhere else. So what you can do here is specify this JSON object in line within the ATTR function itself, instead of creating a separate object first and then passing that object. So what I mean is I can take this jQuery object, a JSON object, and remove that variable, and specify the JSON object in line here within the ATTR method. Now. The behavior should be exactly the same, except that we don't have the need to create that you know, variable, because we are using it just one time. So why create an object first and then pass that object? Instead, create the object in line like this. Another way to set multiple attributes is by using method chaining. We discussed method chaining in the previous video sessions. Look at this. On the div selector. We're calling ATTR function. So that's going to get the set the title attribute. And then whatever this method returns, on that we are setting the style attribute. And whatever that method returns, we are setting the name attribute. OK, so here we're using method chaining. Here we are using JSON object to set multiple attributes. Finally, let's see how to remove an attribute using jQuery remove ATTR function. So basically, here we are saying find all developments with the title attribute and remove the title attribute. So let's look at this in action. So at the moment, these developments have got title attribute, right? So now what we want to do is first let's create a variable. Let's call this result. And let's say div elements with 
title attribute equals now we want to find the number of div elements with title attribute and to do that we are going to use this jQuery selector so find all div elements with title attribute and we can use the length property okay and to that let's append an HTML break okay and then result plus equals let's remove title attribute so let's say removing title attribute and let's append an HTML break and to remove the title attribute we're going to say okay find all div elements with title attribute and let's call remove ATTR function and we want to remove title attribute and finally result plus equals let's find the div elements with title attribute okay so before we remove the title attribute you know div elements with title attribute should be 2 after we remove the title attribute the count should be 0 and then we are finding the span element and then displaying the result within that so let's look at this in action let's reload this page and look at this before we remove the title attribute we have two elements with title attribute after we remove it you know developments with title attribute is zero so this removed the title attribute from the development thank you for listening and have a great day